So one other quick trick I wish to show you uh, that I've got a lot of mileage out of is I can go and I can create, can create a table and store some data into it. But creating a table, we've seen, you have to script it out and do all this stuff. And generally, sometimes, rarely, but sometimes I wish to just create it, do a query, and then slam the results into a, a base table, meaning a table that will persist until I explicitly drop it. And so the way you do that is, is here I, again I have this query that returns all the people from London. I'm going to say into people in London and hit a 5 and instead of getting result set it pushes the result into this base table people in London. So no longer is it a view or a temporary table or anything. I can say tables. Let's bring this down and it uh, looks like I might have to refresh this. Let's refresh it. And we see oh here's the people in London table. It's just another table uh, the same as any other table in this database. So, so now I can say select splat from people in London, and there we go. So, again, you probably don't want a specific table name here. This is, this example is a little contrived, but the idea is very simple. You just select into, and that creates that temporary table. I'm going to actually drop it because I don't want it to sit there and pollute my table space. So, drop table people in London. Highlight that and hit a five. And now it's gone.